All right, this is Vu again, and boy, do I have a special reward for all my loyal followers. Today, I am amped and pumped to do a speed and acceleration comparison head-to-head -head between two of the scooters in my possession at the moment. Uh, first, my Torso EA Pro. It's a little bit more obscure. Not a lot of people have this scooter. Versus one of the most ubiquitous, one of the most popular scooters on the market. Uh, you might know it as a Zero uh, 10X. This particular one is branded as a Turbo Wheel Lightning, but it's also sold under something called Apollo Pro and the Unicool TT something, I'm not too sure. But it's definitely one of the most common scooters out there. Give you a, a kind of a baseline standard comparison to my torso over there. So the, the, the run that we're gonna do is about an, a quarter of a mile long. It's pretty, very, pretty much flat leveled, uh, so there's there's really no gravitational assist or resist. Uh, what else here? So both of these scooters are maxed out in their parameters, uh, fully charged. Uh, the power setting 100% on both scooters, speed 3. The tire pressure is at optimal 40 PSI. Uh, the riders, uh, my fellow rider is going to be... Um, or not going to be, but he is 150 pounds. I'm about 150 pounds, so that variable is constant. And what else do I want to say here? Uh, so it's pretty much going to be the rider weight, scooter, road, wind resistance that's going to be involved. So uh, I want to stop blabber, blibber, blubbering because my tongue isn't made of rubber, and we're just going to go and do it right now. All right, see ya. All right, right. Yeah. Get on. Yeah. Okay, so I also want to mention that both these scooters have zero start. No nudging is required to get the scooter going or the scooters going. Right behind me is a 5-6% grade hill. So this is going to really test the scooter's torque and acceleration capabilities versus the previous run that was pretty much flat all the way through. So top speed matter a lot more. So we're going to see what happens at the beginning of the, of the uh, acceleration comparison, the race and then what happens at the very end. So stay tuned. Hold up. Ready? One, two, three. So here are the two stars of this video, my Torso E8 Pro, and over here is the Turbo Wheel Lightning, which is significantly smaller, but it is no slouch, i tell you that. So before I forget, I want to send my appreciation to Brandon for letting me borrow his Turbo Wheel Lightning for this test here. So um, really from the beginning, 
from the get-go i didn't have any doubt what the outcome would be the torso has so much more power it's beefier it's bigger uh, at 5600 watts peak and i believe the turbo wheel lightning peaks at about 3200 watts um nominal is is 2000 that's the number that they advertise that scooter at so based on the the power the there was no doubt needless to say this one would have would have won um hands down what i was curious about was what the gap would be so would there be a three second um lag would there be a, a 10 second separation between the two scooters at the finish line would there be a 100 feet separation what what would that that number be and secondly uh, i was really surprised at the at the acceleration uh from the very beginning so right from the start i think the turbo wheel lightning may have a slight advantage over the torso now that's ex astonishing given the uh the power numbers and i believe or my speculation is the throttle on that turbo wheel lightning might be a little bit more responsive than the torso so when i say go that the the uh the power just engages or the 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 wheels engage right away versus the torso that might be a slight lag um so that was something that was surprising like maybe zero to five miles per hour the turbo wheel lightning might have the edge so that's pretty much what i have for today and uh future videos i'm going to try to produce some more fascinating sensational content for you all right see you on the next video